Hi everybody, welcome to Joe's Toy Store. Today I'll be reviewing the XD Design Bobby, the best anti theft backpack. Now I bought this through Kickstarter roughly a year and a half ago. I've been using this bag for one year and now I'm sharing my thoughts and a review of this bag. Now first of all, with my pledge I did get a raincoat, a TSA lock and the keychain as well as the weight measurement. I haven't used this uh, over this whole year, uh, never planned to use it. I mean, it's good, it's handy, but I just never need to use it. Now, <clears throat> so first of all, just to let you know, this bag is special for its anti-theft. Now, simply because it's actually got some paddings in there to stop people from uh, cutting with the, with the cutter, cutting through. Now. I've been checking this bag and I realized that only this part is anti-theft, this front part is also anti-theft, and this part is anti-theft. The bottom, I actually don't feel and I don't see the, the hard plastic, but I'm guessing that if there was a person that's hot, that uses enough force, it can actually cut the bottom of the bag open, as well as the top, but I mean it would be very hard for a person to do it. And the zip is at the back. Now, when I wear this bag, I actually don't need to uh, put it back onto one shoulder to grab stuff from the side pockets. There's, I mean, obviously there are two side pockets here, as well as the card holder on each side of the strap. So as you can see, there's two. You can easily fit two cards in there. It's very easy to get out, so let's say you have a train ticket or something, you can just put it in here, very handy. Uh, wallets and all those important stuff like passport, I normally put it at the back where no one else could get it. Also, very easily accessible when I wear it. Uh, there's the hand carry, hand carry sort of strap, so you put the, the, the holder through here, through this strap, and then onto here and actually stick in place, so that's very good. This one, you can fit, easily fit a 15.6 inch laptop through here with two straps to put in place, as well as a tablet and the strap. So pretty much this side's covered. Now, there are features here, so there's the USB cable, so that plugs into a power bank through here so you, you buy your own power bank, obviously, and then you plug it through there, and then power comes through to the side pocket, through the side pocket, there's a, there's a USB charger. So then that could be on the go when you need some juice. Uh, there's the SIP and the small holder. At the back, there's another small holder. Storage for the bottom. Uh, you, can, you can easily put many things in there, like uh, sunglasses, sunglasses and the case, uh, power banks, and then what I normally do is also put the raincoat here. There's a hole here. I'm not sure what you actually put in there, but I'm guessing it could be something big. For example, like maybe a jacket, a very thin jacket, or maybe earphones, strap it to the side. There are the sips, which through here you can see, I can pull it out. That's the actual anti-theft that they were talking about. So it's a plastic that it's fitted on the sides. I can't actually see it. I can't feel it uh, for the front. I mean, I can feel it for the front, but I can't see it. I can't find it, So, which is good. So next part, I'll be showing you what I normally do, what I normally put into this bag when I go for maybe a two to three days trip in China. Okay, so here we are. I have everything packed in for my two day or three day trip in China. So here, let's take a look what I got in here. First, this is my going to the gym uh, bottle, water bottle or powder bottle. Um, my powders. Now here, first one, I have one t-shirt, two t-shirts. Three t-shirt, fourth, and fifth, 
obviously I got the overall dot six and a pair of pants a pair of pants shorts umbrella the raincoat and the, a power bank my sunglasses and the case a pen a lighter USB cable and another small gadget and now here also have the wall socket chargers for my phones here my 15.6 inch laptop see as you can see it was actually very easy to get out the laptop even if it's a 15.6 inch but it won't be able to fit a 17 inch laptop a booklet uh, for me to write down notes and a 8 inch tablet now that's for the inside now let's take a look on the other side so here we have my wallet I'll put it at the back on the side I got two sets of keys and on the other side I have my deodorant two packs of tissues mint and normally I would actually have my med cards and another card just handy right in here but yeah this is pretty much a uh, bobby and what you can fit as you can see it can actually fit a lot and from experience having all this stuff in there it's actually not that heavy because it's uh, it's actually reasonably smart the way it's built around minus 20% of the weight this bag actually weighs uh, 13 kilos just then so next part I'll be telling you the cons and pros of this bag so now as for Bobby now I really think that this bag is very unique like you go on the street you'll notice it straight away it stands out in the crowd uh, downside of that is there are a lot of people using this bag especially this color so in a sense you'll be finding a lot of people uh, strangers that you don't know uh, wearing the exact same bag if you can get past that point, then I'm guessing this bag is actually a very practical bag. It's very comfortable. Uh, you can fit all your daily items in this bag. A 15.6 inch laptop, uh, a lot of clothing, uh, umbrellas and everything, just all in here. Uh, it doesn't weigh, doesn't feel as much as it weighs. So even like when I'm with all the things inside just then, at 13 kilos uh, this bag doesn't even feel like 13 at all like honestly um, one of the appearance downside is this part the top part here it's always dented in unless your bag is completely full so if let's say I only have like a laptop in here and then like a drink bottle or something that's inside this part doesn't get pushed out and it looks kind of like flimsy that's just one of them uh, in terms of appearance wise it's the worst point I mean it can be pushed down but I don't know like when it gets heavier it just sinks in all of a sudden don't know why but uh, everything is very good about this bag I would say after using a year none of the sips have broken it's made of very high quality I would say yes so if you like this video please give me a like. If you love it, then please subscribe to my channel. If you have any comments or any other items that you want me to review, please leave them below. Uh, until next time, see you. Bye-bye.